So, Blue Bonnet specializes in working livestock guardian dogs. Not every dog makes a cut, so we do have a lot of wonderful pets, couch potato dogs, um, mostly Great Pyrenees, Hawkbosh, Anatolian Shepherd, occasionally some breeds that most people have never heard of, but generally livestock guardian breeds. And occasionally we have other dogs, like right now we have a really cute little healer, um, and we have some mixed breed puppies that we pulled out of the shelter because they were going to get put down and nobody wants to see a puppy get put down. So sometimes we go outside of our comfort zone in order to save animals. But mostly Piers, Anatolians, Akbash. And if somebody wants to get, if somebody wants to get like be a volunteer for your rescue, how do they do that? They can contact us on our Facebook page. They can go to our website. They can email us. The email address is barn at lonestarmail.net. That's written on both our website and our Facebook page. We also have an Instagram account. You can basically you can follow me. You can DM me on almost any platform, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be the one that gets it. Anytime you contact Blue Bonnet, it comes to me. It kind of shocked me with the DM term. That was good. <laughs> I, well, I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> that was good. I like it. She's hip. She's got it. She's got it. She's got it. I'm 65 years old. I'm really tired. I would love to have some volunteers. Yeah. But I know a little bit about social media because there you I go. have to do it. You got to DM her, guys. You got to DM her. <laughs> no, but again, to, and also to adopt from your rescue, how do they do that? BlueBonnetRescue.org, and there's a, a page that tells you all about how you do it. The application's online. Many of our dogs are online, so you can look at the dogs and read their story on our website, BlueBonnet.org. Absolutely, guys. Again, that's 60-plus donors on Facebook. All right, Lynette, now that you know how to do it, are we invited back for year two, for round number two? So you're deal. <laughs> deal. Deal. These are Walmart. It's like 20 bucks. It's not a big deal. They, they got 20 bucks. All right. Everybody else, how did they do today, guys? Yeah. Go. Does anybody else want to speak on behalf of the rescue? Any board members? Anybody else want to speak? Go ahead. One thing I'd like to say is that what impressed me about Barn the most was that when they bought the property, they made everything they could out of existing infrastructure. A lot of the rescues go into debt. But not these two. They want every bit of the money that they raise to go towards helping to care for the sanctuary animals, test the um, livestock guardian dogs, and everything goes to the animals. Nothing's fancy around here, and there's no paid staff. That's Absolutely. what impressed me. Absolutely, guys. Again, that's our friend Jill. Anybody else want to speak on behalf of the rescue? Remember, they do a ton of outreach, too. So they help everybody learn how to take care of their livestock guardians they make sure that they're getting flea control and heartworm treatment um, they are making sure that they're getting provided adequate shelter uh, even how to take care of their rescue farm animals too they've got donkeys they have a rooster bachelor colony like how cute is that <laughs> there you go there you go there you go uh, you know, they got <coughs> so this place is amazing and how can you not fall in love with it Absolutely. Or the peers that you definitely will end up in your home um, and on your couch and then right. in your heart. There you go. There you go. So I'm one of the veterinarians that works with Blue Bonnet. And uh, I just want to say from a, a rescue perspective and from a veterinary perspective, Lynette has um, never put a dollar value on any one of these dogs' heads. We do exactly what they need. She will go to any length to help that singular pet. So... Um, from, from my perspective as a veterinarian, this has been, um, it's been a pleasure working with her and, and making sure that um, yeah. each one of these dogs gets the best care that they can get. And that's, uh, her, it's, it's hard to do in rescue and she does it uh, better than anyone. Absolutely, guys. Again, anybody else on behalf of the rescue, guys? Anybody else on behalf of the rescue real quick? All right. Go for it, Molly. Thank you all our veterinarians. If anybody's looking to foster too, we definitely need fosters. Okay. Um, open to house dog fosters or livestock guardian dog fosters. Um, and I'm sure Lynette would appreciate more fosters so we can uh, rescue more dogs. As you guys all know, there is a crisis in Texas right now with so many dogs um, being at shelters and being unfortunately put down. So we'd love to save more dogs um, and would love to see more people step up and foster. Absolutely, guys. Again, and it's the same process for that to become a foster. How do you become a foster? On our website, again, the page called Foster Information. Foster application is there online. Um, I'm the one who reviews all of that. Absolutely. And Bridget helps me. She does our vet checks. Um, basically, we go through the same process with a foster as we do with an adopter. 
because if you're going to foster for us, we want to make sure that you're going to take good care of them. And is there a foster here right now that I can talk to you real quick? You might be in the um, So Molly <laughs> has fostered for yeah, us. Jill foster has fostered for us. So Molly, how rewarding is it real quick for people that don't know much about fostering? Because we go all across the country. Some people don't know what fostering is. How rewarding is it to be a foster? Fostering is great in the sense that you're saving the dog's life. So it could have been a dog that was possibly put down at a shelter and didn't really have the chance. A lot of them can be feral and you're actually giving them a chance to get adopted. So fostering is huge, saves lives. Um, and it also warms your heart because you're yep. doing something to your community. Yep. Our right. foster had Arvo. We got the baby right. boys. I and about that. two days later, they got Arvo. Had we not had a foster, had Lynette not taken them in, they would not be alive. Um, so. And now they're what, 100, 110 pounds? There, yeah. There you go. Big, big, boys. big couch potato dogs. There you go. And, yeah, and healthy and eating me out of house and home. Right. And it's worth it every second. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And Lynette, can we get you guys to come back real quick? Beyond Lynette, can you come up here real fast? All right, guys, real quickly, guys, remember this link is live for another week. Another week's so people can donate tonight, tomorrow. Keep supporting Blue Bonnie.